Man, how did I find her? Did I just... Hmm. Did I just go Mask of the Red Death and jump down here? No, there she is. Hi, Leda. How's it going? Thanks for messing around and some more Vampire Survivors. Beswick Challenge, beat every stage with every character. This time we're heading with Ariana over to three more stages and seeing how overpowered we can get this spread gun. Which I will keep calling spread gun instead of spread shot, even though spread shot is its name. Da -da -da. Yeah. Re rolling. Gotta get that sound old sanctuary going. These are not weapons I want. That kind of is. Two more projectiles. Laurel, like I said, spread gun. Maxed out. As much as I can under the stipulations the third wave gives me. Which are not very many. Okay. <laughs> All right, going fine so far. Once I get some piercing, it'll be a lot better too. There's life sign scan. Hey, I said overpower. That means life sign scan into paranormal scanner. And I don't even have empty tome yet. Now I do. <laughs> Sure, I could have built movement speed to get her armor up, but who wants that when he got the spread gun going as strong as possible? Yes, yes, spread shot. I want to call it spread gun. It's inexplicably my highest viewed video. Yeah, I'm just annihilating these waves. Oh, NFT. Man, I'm gonna level up really quickly. Will down reduce. More projectiles, yay! Once it gets to C, it'll be even more ridiculous. Oh, knew that was coming. Not that Gallo Tower start is all that dangerous, but still, this has been pretty smooth. Oh, I remember them blood skeletons come back. Makes them very dangerous. Huh. Eight. Oh, right, it needs to be level two before it starts showing up many ghosts. I was confused, because, like, what? Did I banish it? Why would I ever banish the minis? That makes no sense. There we go. There's Mini Ghost. Let's destroy the wizard. And now it's time to regular Skeleton. Man, I've almost maxed out, and it's not even five minutes in. That's not a good sign for not over... Well, no. No, no, I'm going to evolve both those, and Laurel doesn't have anything to pick up. Well, time to just run as north as I can. And hope it works out. Speaking of working out, I haven't worked out all week. Yay! Life just getting in the way constantly. Yay! What sort of set do you think that the uh, Operation Guns characters do? Because aside from the robot ones, they've all got to be hitting the gym on the rig. Alright, Operation Guns, Operation Guns, Operation Guns! Take that algorithm. Wait, no. This is a couple minutes in. That means you're clearly not paying it any more attention. Now I can say gross things, like pants, and you won't pay any more attention. 
Hey, a chicken. Light source, random event. We're gonna have random events on until Stalker shows up or something. Well, it could be faster, but still. It's doing solid work. Speaking of solid work... Uh, well, I should be going checking the chart and making sure I haven't actually done this stage on her before. Yeah, okay, good. She did Dairy Plant. She did not do Gallo Tower. Oh, I know. When I do Gallo on this level, I'm going to say Gallo Returns Home. And I guess later Returns Home as well. So it was also her tower. Did he change it from later tower when he moved in? Alright, almost ten minutes in. It's actually going to be pretty hard to get the boss chest because how the damage is calculated here. I do want to get the prototype first because, well, well, I messed up again. Well, that makes sense. It's me after all. Uh-oh. Hey, they're getting in. A lot of damage they used be doing. Considering I have a Laurel maxed out. Why did I do that? Well, I'm almost at 10, so... Well, one pierce will help. I'll say a lot, actually. Look at it go. Pew, pew, pew. Alright, boss. I think... Dang it. Wow, double pierce already. I almost don't want to evolve it. Here's the boss. Yeah, there we go. Prototype C. Now I fire multiple spread shots out. Endlessly, basically. And they don't stand a bloody chance. And it pierces. And because it pierces, that means the regular spread gun has no chance. Oh, I had a rapid fire on. I was wondering why I was firing so shot. Hit the pierce up. It just clears through the whole map. Then there's no trouble. Man, it's oh so good. Damage really isn't a lot, but man, just wave clears. Mm, well, actually, now that I think about it, at base, yeah, it's less effective. Because, you know, maybe you're not counting limit break. I'm always going to count limit break. Why wouldn't you? That's where all the fun with the weapons really is. Oh, right, you're there, Atlanteans. Sure, the might isn't anything to look at without boosting it up with spinage. Man, infinite pierce is helpful on wave clear this big. On the other hand, why do this when you can just get Labora? Pierce is more valuable. Well, I guess Empty Tome is a better pickup than Tract Orb. And once we get to heavier waves, the lack of... Yeah, da, 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 da. The lack of actual damage will hurt. That's what Wake is for. I mean, I can get bouncy shots. Yeah, I'm thinking parent, once I don't get paranormal scan, boosting out real hard. It's gonna be a difficult one in the end. Uh, here you at regular chest. Here we go, paranormal scan. Will I make the risk, even though this is so close to when I should be posting this? Well, I'm forced to take the risk. Oh crap, it wasn't this one. It was this one, yeah. Wait, does that steal all the pierce? Well, if it takes the pierce, that's very bad. Yeah, it took my pierce. Oh, that makes this worse. This makes it incredibly worse. Well, unless they're just healthy enough to survive it, but if it takes all the pierce... Not so hard to tell. Oh. 
Oh, they're both dead. Good. Hmm. Well, I do have Laurel on top of it. So that'll be helpful. And there's chicken forts here. Big chicken forts. Yeah, I think it took my pierce away. That's not good. That's not good at all. I'm out. I'm out. Yay, one more health point. That will surely save the run. Next run. I don't turn the golden eggs off for every character who's only like less than 100 just because, well, it's not really going to be doing anything. The most effective would be like one cooldown reduction, but even that's not very much. Ah, yes. I do believe it removes the ability to pierce. Also, for some reason, the Heart of Fire doesn't seem to be activating as it should. Okay. So I'm thinking what it works like here is that it bounces the three times first, and then on the last one it does the pierce. Which makes it actually worse for wave clearing, but better for cowardly hor cowardly circling. It'll be very necessary. Very, very necessary. Considering how ridiculously overtuned the last waves are here. Once I can get some more levels in, it'll be fine. Oh, they're not coming in on the left. Oh, I got NFT. Now, I should just sit near these chicken forks and all these power-ups, which I will do now, because I don't want to lose. I'm sick of losing. It's the story of my life. Oh, you gave me 20 health off that. Wow. That's a lot of health, actually. There it is again. Probably one of the more common ones. It's 45. Oh, hey, you almost gave me another amount, have you? In fact, you probably have. Base plus one. Then I got two from Duplicator, and that's it. Okay. Let's have a nice power up fort. Oh, uh, there are chickens down here. I think there are chickens down here. It's hard to tell. Oh, and in case you were not aware, every time you level up a weapon, you get an activation of that weapon. That's why I'm selecting the paranormal scan, because it automatically procs another one, and that's more stats. Oh, I'm going to actually end up with a decent amount of health at the end of this, huh? Well, they're not getting in, but I can't... My kill count is not particularly the highest it could be. Maybe a sh... Hmm. Well, it does make me overall safer to have all the bouncy projectiles going around. Damn, just very low, though. Well, actually, no, I don't know whether that's regular or through Heart of Fire that's doing the, like, 20s while the others are 80s. I mean, the Heart of Fire should be half of the base damage or whatever. So the 20 is probably Heart of Fire. As you know, 25% might increase. What's going on? Dang Starburst. Well, I might as well activate the Stalker, really. Where is he? No, you're there. I saw you. You won't get me this time. I have literally nothing that can actually stop you. Crap. So let's uh, try and find something. A oh, bunch of chickens, nice. Okay, the minute ticked over, and it's not ending. Oh. Yeah, the damage is not keeping up anymore. Well, if it's this bad at this moment, it's going to get worse. Oh, 
On the other hand, I think the cooldown's high enough. And I picked up another revive. Hmm. Okay, yeah, looks like my cooldown has been reduced. Yeah, it's the max cooldown reduction. And I'm basically healing through anything. I knew you were there, Stalker. There were just too many mobs in the way for you to actually get me. Yeah, it definitely gets Pierce on its final bounce. That means it... Hmm. It's an interesting way to think of it. Yeah, look at how it's just acting so strangely. Oh, right. The nice relaxation wave here with the skeletons again. Skeletons? Sure, why not? Oh, that's a grenade. Why aren't you blown up? Oh, didn't mean to hit that. Oh, well. Ooh, I'm hitting for hundreds. Nice. Well, when it fires out that fast, hitting for hundreds is pretty dang good. Yeah, if anything actually does get through the Laurel, and it'll just get healed up by Paranormal Scan. So that's nice. Nice, relaxing journey. All you need is Laurel and Paranormal Scan, and you win. Now, let's see. The count's still going up, even if not, it's particularly fast. Are you doing that? See, I said I'd clean out the gun from the controller, and I didn't. At all. Oakley to Oakley. Well, I guess it's not spreading out the damage as it should. And just walk it through. I got a lot of move speed too. That increases my armor. I got 15 armor on the back of this. So that's a lot. Hey, hey, there was a stage behind all these enemies. Oh. Yeesh, imagine how bad it would be if the whole thing. You know, since these characters get bonus stats from... Da da da! Other stats. I mean, this paranormal skin's doubly effective for them. Like... Man, Stanley would be really good with it, wouldn't he? Armor is somewhat common. I only need five pips of it to max it out. Wait, can you actually kill me? Or is my cooldown so high in duration? Huh? Nope, you actually can't. Well, let's see, the damage is in the hundreds. Okay, so it procs the Heart of Fire effect on the Drowner, even if he's not getting hit. Even if he's not getting damaged, he's definitely getting hit. Alright, I'm gonna go... This is probably the best time I have to actually go find Leda. But, yeah, Paranormal... Wait, are you following me? No, just the bubble effect is. Yeah, I haven't shown off Leda in, like... Forever, and this is probably the clearest it's gonna get because of the fact it's not like Browner's gonna die. So let's actually go check her out. Getting stuck on things. It actually makes it brighter than the stage regularly, is it, huh? Dun, 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 dun. Alright, starting to see the text. She is alive inside. Oh, I swear to god, I'm gonna die to sneezing. Alright, there was the spellbinder. Now let's go check out the golden ring. There's golden ring. Spawn a new old sun Atlantean. 
Hey, my cooldown went up. Or went down even farther. Alright, and Volcano Atlantean has joined the party. And it's kind of funny looking at the stage when it's all nice and bright like this, huh? There's another Reaper joining the fray. Uh, background still not down. Man, she's so far down here. Background has to change more. Has to start turning pitch black. I don't think the stage will itself. No, no, it's getting darker. It's getting darker even through the drown or brightening in it. When it gets pitch black that she shows up, it's still pretty hard to see her. Especially if you have numbers on. But granted, I'm going to have nothing here. So... Da -da 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 -da. Getting darker. Man, it takes so long to give her. I have 215 move speed. Means I now have 18 armor. Ha ha! Cooldown is the most powerful stat. Okay, the background's starting to become incomprehensible. You can still kind of see the stage because of the lightning effect of the drowner wave. The grad thing is not there, there. I'm not sure if he's following me, if he's still all the way at the top. Okay, this is dark enough that later should be visible. Nope, oh, that's Atlantean. Or that Leda should have spawned in. Well, at least I hope I didn't miss her. Oh, hey, Atlantean died. In the crossfire, yay! Okay, it's definitely within her haunting grounds. Ain't she so slow that if I don't spot her, he's just not going to be able to find catch up. Dang it, I must have missed her. It's really hard to find her, dang it. Man, how did I find her? Did I just... Hmm. Did I just go... Mask of the Red Death and jump down here. No, there she is. Hi, Leda. How's it going? I mean, it's kind of pointless to do anything here, but... I even hit you correctly? No, I can't. I don't know whether I'm going up or not because of the way the effects are looking. Anyway, there's Leda. You defeat her and you normally just, you know, pick her up. Anyway, I'm quitting out because, well, I can't kill Reapers and they can't kill me. And that was odiously inflated by that final run and smashing of the Reapers. All right, and now Ariana is heading to a challenge stage, which will be back country because they're, well, it's next on the list. And it will be no challenge whatsoever because it's back country. We can stop here. And anyway, I just want to do the same thing? Yes, because I'm an unoriginal hack. Reroll, 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 reroll. Actually, this will be amazing for taking care of the power-up walls, won't it? Yep. Oh, an original hackism go. They don't stand a chance against this firepower. Art of fire burns ever onwards. Take that, bats. Take that. Hold on, reduced. This damage up not impressive, but hey. Hey, rapid fire. Oh, 
each of them. Focus them all on a boss. Damage is a lot better. Still not great, but hey. You can actually do something with it on, like, diver mines. God, I really do not like diver mines. I think it might actually be worse than Kralo. Kralo at least has infinite pierce, even if the damage in area is terrible. Diver mines has damage and... That's it. It has decent damage to start with. Huh, I wanna... Need my other power-ups, huh, game? Well, Empty Tome is enough. Empty Tome is enough. And it's only bats, so they aren't going to do you doing much in the way of damage. Empty Tome, how could I lose? Defense, huh, huh, defense, oh, huh, huh. Bats? Bats dead. Dead bats. And bat country? Oh, I know. I'll use the leader one for the start. Speaking of which... Is the little preview seconds at the start something you're interested in continuing? I wanted to do that whole blah 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 hook someone early thing to try and get them to watch the whole video. So is it working? Is it not? My tension seems to be a bit higher. And again, it's hard to tell when you've got so few views as I do. Well, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching this far. Oh, Melissa. Not giving me much in the way of everything I need, huh? Uh, must be some sort of internal hits. Avoidance or whatever you call it. They can't just power through with long gun or whatnot. Oh. Ran into it. That was dopey. Hey, there's the duplicator, finally. Alright, now I get bouncy shots. Yay, bouncy shots. Wait, no I don't. I don't get bouncy shots until I evolve. Oh no! Wait. The Arcana chest comes at 5. Shouldn't the evolution chest come in that time either, as well? Well, it hits the whole width of the screen. That's nice. I didn't mean width. If I try to go for horizontal width. Wait, no. This would be width, which it doesn't hit. That would be length of the screen. So it hits the whole length of the screen, but doesn't hit the whole width. It shoots the full width. And it'll shoot the full length, not reach the full width, but hits the full length. Words are dopey. Oh wait, are you my evolution chest? Come on, be my evolution chest. No, you were just... A red gem. Well, there spawns in Zimini Ghost. You my evolution chest? Well, Heart of Fire really does help at making them not, you know, kill me. Now well, I can just get an NFT. Oh, hey, I got a rapid fire. And yet, somehow, it doesn't matter that much. Well, I'll make it better. Let's hit everything. Yeah, it hits even the stage barriers. That's good. Alright, there's me leveling up. Now, yeah, let's hold, try and hold out till the evolution chest shows up. Oh, rapid fire down here? Yeah, get the rapid fire. That'll stop them cold. Please evolve, yay. Now I got bouncy shots. And I can grab this power up.
Look at them bullets go. Pew pew. Pew pew. More of them. Yay. Huh. Does it actually slow down the firing rate? Maybe I'm just too used to being at the end of Gallo Tower. You want to get shot, Bat? Oh, you're the Arcana Bat. Oh, another Malice. Oh, I'm gonna go get area. It's not like I'm gonna need might here. I'm gonna save the grenade for some later, but why not? Oops, I went might. Enough Pierce. Very little will be able to stop you. Well, actually, plenty stopped me last time. I was just invincible by that point because of paranormal scan. Oh, right, a chest. That will give me power. Power overwhelming. Oh, no, it was an old chest. Oh, I should get the Arcana just in case that happens. Woohoo, silver Arcana chest. Now you know you're lucky. All them spread shots all over the place. Spread gun supremacy. Spread gun supremacy. Damn, it's blowing them all up. They don't stand much of a chance of any. Nice, relaxing trip to bat country. We can stop here once we clear out all the bats. I should just random them always, it doesn't matter at this point. Big purple bats aren't going to stop me, and neither will be the big eye bats. It's a nice, clean victory. Hey, look at that corridor.
And it's time for Ariana to head over to a bonus stage. This time it's going to be Space 54. Same build all three times. I want to make sure that spread gun is nice and powerful. Well, there's only so much you can do with limited time that I am playing with, though. Oh, well. And the cooldown is down low. Hey, empty tome off the bat. Nice. You are not things I want, that is. Like I said, I do not consider that an official power-up, just because it does not take up a slot. Well, a ghost and such do. The minis do. Yeah. Kind of the full length of the screen. Maybe if I got enough mount or area, it could do it. Full width of the screen. Oh, well, well, duh, you're level one. So you have no health. Your HP times level, not anything actually dangerous. And that's why Game Killer isn't as terrible as you think. Because anything that's HP times level are the most threatening things, and if you can get around at level one, well, they aren't going to accomplish anything. So, though, what are your options unlimited? Maybe I should try to do a low-level Reaper kill without anything. You know, that's an option. Hmm, no. On the other hand, he did have so much HP just because of the inverse. Like, let's see. Can't. We need life sign scan for the damage ability and to boost Laurel up. But I wouldn't want to go for whatchamacallit. No, I could freeze him. I could keep him frozen. No. Better to have the paranormal scan. The damage would come from paranormal scan boosting up a gun. And then with a ton of base damage. Probably BFC in fact. That's got so much riding on its crash. So, first one you do whatever to buff yourself up, then the second Arcana after you get your normal scan and ghost. Or after you get life sign scan and ghost. Then you buff it up. That'd be like on a two weapon build. So let's say Sheena. Sheena. You start with her crossbow. I think it's the highest damage base weapon. That or Kaitha. Kaitha also makes sense. So first one you do Silent Old Sanctuary to get your cooldown as low as possible. And what about passives? You'd want a map with Moonglow, Moonglow. You want to go on Moonglow. Or boss rash it. Oh, Moonglow. It's not like the stage matters, but Moonglow would be best since you get empty tome guaranteed there. Uh, roll or Toronas box. Yeah, you can dump all your rerolls for Toronas box. So start at one. You get two for the scan. Three to get it to get the mini ghost, and then at four you get mini ghost. And five for Tronos box? No, it's not worth it. That's another like 18,000 health on the Reaper. So you then game killer at four, and then just use the chest. Well, Moonglow doesn't have much in the way of chests. Hmm. What other stages did you be? Empty Tome is on Abyss Foscari. You want to go to Abyss Foscari? That's Toronus Box on default. And Empty Tome. Well, oh, you need an Empty Tome less. That's not the right bouncy. Not the right bouncy at all. Oh, all the way at the end, huh? I missed it. Yep, well, beginning we go.
Okay, well, more shots is helpful. My level is actually very low, huh? You have Empty Tome maxed out. Got a lot of shots, but they're not really doing much without Pierce to back them up. Old Hawkeye, we call him. Old Hawkeye. Alright, that's as fast as you're firing. Grab this NFT and just level up through you. Granted, it's not 10, so even if I grab the Archon, I wouldn't have done anything. Till the I evolve. There's the mini. Is that an evolution chest? It is. Huh. So it's only eight minutes here. Here's the heavens. Dang, you just kind of feel it more effective with even just one pierce. Yes, it hits on so much damage. Looks like they fire out... Hmm. How many would they fire out at base? Let's see. I have three amount. One... Dang, it's hard to tell. Can't really pause it. Uh, you have hit many better? No, you have many is worse. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got three amount. How can it fire out six? It should be firing out seven minimum, unless that's the cap they can fire. Pierce is so good. Pierce is so good. Man, I'm gonna get all the Pierce at this rate. Man, they can't even get in on that side. That's great. Of course, sort of limited in the direction you can go. Unless maybe you get enough area to get the explosions so huge they cover the whole screen. Yep. Remember, remember to get the golden finger. It's very, very far away. Pierce is much more effective against this. I think it actually might be better to get Pierce instead of Bounce. The way the Bounce works is really strange. This is going to pump up area. Since raw hits is actually more helpful for survivability here than not. Hmm. Let's see. I'm thinking about it. A lot of the, like, longer range weapons like this tend not to have, tend to have more limited pierce, don't they? This is the Golden Finger Room. Is that right in front of me? Oh. Huh. I think I'm on top of it. Oh, right. Chests. Grab that just on the chance that it evolves. Well, if I keep moving, it's fine. And, well, there's no more terrain since Space 54 is now open. Huh. Doesn't seem to be increasing the size of the orbs all that much. It seems to be increasing the spread instead. Now, where's the chest here? I said I basically maxed out my pierce at this point. Uh, uh, that's weird. They feel frailer than they should. Where are you, Arcana Chest? I can't see you at all. Maybe I should just clear the screen. Oh, well, I double cleared the screen. Area, area, area. I can see them slightly getting bigger, but I swear the spread between shots is getting bigger, too. Gap between shots, gap between shots. Nope. Another Melisan time. 
Alright, now let's see if I can find this dang golden finger. Wait. No, no, I didn't max down my cooldown yet, so that's why the rapid fire was doing that. Oh, I'm getting so many rosaries. Crazy amount of rosaries. Normally there's only like a couple of run. This is like eight. Where is that dang golden finger? Da -da -da. And I can't find it all. That's unfortunate. I want to see how far I could be pushed with the spread gun. Yep, nothing going on here. Nothing going on here. Arg, arg. I'd be a pirate now. Vasty mateys. Like there's been, yeah, there's, there hasn't been another chest to evolve either. I guess it would be on this thing. Yeah, there we go. And it's a pretty late, so it's not going to have any effect in all of a minute. Actually, I need to get it. But I don't think I have the stats to survive this. So I need the health from it. Oh, wait, no, Rosary exists. Oh, wait, Rosary doesn't work on them. Wait, are they in the Ars Gouda? I don't remember them being in there. Yay, amount. Hmm. Oh, NFT. That'll stop it. Yeah. Nothing can stop NFT. Well, on the other hand, there's more than enough chickens. But this is no trouble. So, like all the bonus stages, the ones that just drop endless amounts of pickups, that what makes them bonus. But Yomolis doesn't do that. Yomolis. Well, just random always at this point. I'm three seconds out. Look at all them chickens making me invincible for way too long. Rapid fire. Oh, wait. I got cooldown high enough. I'm not going to die. Disabled moving background. Okay, so that was not overpowering it as much as I had hoped. But still. Very good weapon overall. A lot better than most of the other Operation Gun stuff, either in spread gun form or in evolved prototype C form. Thanks for watching some more Vampire Survivors Beswick. We have creased the 300 mark. Pretty exciting in that amount. Right now, spread gun did not end up as strong as I wished it was, but hey, you know, now we learn. For next time, we will have more knowledge and more power. Why does it go up like that? Anyway, there's 303 stage character combinations down. It's 1,629 to go. Next up will be Lance. We're almost back out of Operation Guns, and I'll be back to the top to do other stuff. Ooh. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun, perhaps enough to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in Vampire Survivors.